More than a year ago, I made a video on how to install mods for Worlds, and that quickly became one of my most watched videos. And today, I'm updating that video and showing you how to easily install mods for Monster Hunter World. My other video still works fine, but today I'll be showing you a much better way. The other mod manager was, let's say, not great. It works and does its job, but it's a bit slow and really slow when you're trying to install big files. And the alternative now is Mod Organizer 2. This is a mod manager I've been using for many years now, for Skyrim and Fallout 4, and it's the best mod manager I've ever used. And since I found out it also works for World, I had to make the switch. So let's start by downloading Mod Organizer. You can find it on the Skyrim Nexus page, but don't worry, it will work. I will also leave the link in the description, so it's even easier for you to find it. And while that's downloading, let's grab some essential mods that you need to make mods work. Starting with Striker's Loader and the Performance Booster and Plugin Extender. These two mods are must-haves, so make sure to grab them. I'll also add here the Sharp Plugin Loader. Not really a must-have, but if you want to play with the Better Matchmaking mod, you will need this. If you want to know more about the Better Matchmaking mod, you can check this video I made about it. You can grab it by going to this link in the Better Matchmaking mod description. Now these two mods, or three if you choose to install the Sharpling Loader, can be installed with Mod Organizer, but I recommend that you install them manually. To do that, we open Steam, we right click World, Manage, Browse Local Files. Now open or extract the zip file for each mod. You can do that with a program like WinRAR, 7-Zip, NanaZip, whatever you prefer, and you want to drag and drop them like I do in the video. After that, we should have a folder looking like this. We have the games folder, native PC, plugins, and here's the stuff we just installed. By now, the mod organizer download should have ended, so let's keep going from there. But before that, this video is sponsored by Instant Gaming. By using my link in the description, you can get any game you want with some really good discounts. Games like Silent Hill 2, Metaphor Refantasio, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, all with insanely good prices. You can even pre-order the Wilds Deluxe Edition right now for the price of the regular version on Steam. So if you're looking to get a couple of new games, check out my link in the description and thank you Instant Gaming for sponsoring this video. Now let's go back to installing mods. From your games directory, click on the drive that you have your game installed on. You can quickly do this by clicking it right here. Yours will have a different name, but you get it. Here, let's create a folder, something like Monster Hunter World Mods or something like that. On a new tab or window, go to where you downloaded the Mod Organizer installer and run it. Set the agreements and next. And here, you want to select the folder that we just created. You should still have it open, so open the folder and copy the path. Go to Mod Organizer, paste it and next. Click next until you arrive here and click on install. Once it's done, click finish and Mod Organizer should open. We click next once again and here you want to select the portable instance. Next, we want to select our game, which in this case is Monster Hunter World, and go next until you see Finish. Click it and it should be good to go. Mod Organizer will now open, and here you can click Do Nothing or just Import from Nexus. And now that we have MO2 installed, the first thing we want to do is go to Settings, Theme, and change it to something that doesn't burn your eyes all the time. I personally like the dark purple, but give them all a try and find the one that you like the most. Now let's install our first mod. I'll be using this one as an example. Click the Mod Manager Download button, and on the Mod Organizer Download tab, you should see the mod downloading. After it's finished, double click it, and if you see something like this, Monster Hunter World Native, it's good to go. Just click OK, and it should install. But if it looks something like this, which some mods could look like, you can easily fix it by right clicking it, set as a directory, and it's done. Click OK, and install it. Just make sure it looks like this, Monster Hunter World, Native PC, and then the rest of the folders. After it's installed, you can delete the zip file. Now make sure to activate the mod and it's done, the mod is installed. Now an important thing to know, for your game to start with the mods, you need to launch it through here. If you launch the game normally with Steam, it will launch your game without the mods you installed here. With this, it makes sure your game directory is basically untouched 
and if you want to play without mods, you can easily do it. It might sound a bit annoying to have to open this every time, but trust me, it's pretty quick and easy, and it's worth it. You can also click here to create a shortcut, and then you can just run the game with that. But now let's check if the mod is working. And here it is, working perfectly. And that's about it for this video. Now before finishing the video, I have two things to add. First, for those of you that want to switch from the old mod manager to this one, it's pretty easy. First, you want to find your Monster Hunter World mod manager folder, open the mod manager data, mods cache, and here's the zip files of all your mods. You then want to delete the current native PC folder that you have in your game's directory. Just make sure to reinstall Strikers Loader and the Performance Booster and Plugin Extender, like we did in the beginning of the video, because they were inside of that native PC folder. After that, you can start installing them with Mod Organizer. You simply grab all the zip files from the mods that you had installed and drag them to the Downloads tab of Mod Organizer 2. It might take a bit if you have a bunch of mods, but after that, all your mods should be here. You can then start installing them one by one. I also recommend that you create separators so you can have things organized. And after a bit, I transferred all my mods here and as you can see, I have separators for UI, quality of life, weapons, armors, pelicos, and some others. And in case you have a file with a weird name and you don't know what mod that is, you can right-click the mod after you install it and click Visit on Nexus. This will open a tab on your browser with the page of the mod. You can then rename the mod if you want to. Another good thing to know is the meaning of this thing right here. This basically means that the bottom mod is overwriting the mod above. In this case, I want this to happen since it's a fix. But if you have a bunch of armor mods and you see this thing, it means you have certain armor mods replacing the same armor as another mod. And in that case, you have to choose one of them. And the second and last thing I want to mention is, if you use or plan to use the better matchmaking mod, you will need to do the following. Over here, click Edit. Make sure World is selected and click Configure Libraries. And then add Row. Then here on the left, click this thing here and select the Monster Hunter World .exe file. And here on the right, click this thing again and select the WinMM DLL. This is from the Sharp Plugin Loader that we installed manually at the start of the video. Then you want to click this little box on the left to enable it. Click OK and then apply. And it's done. You can now install the better matchmaking mod like I showed you before, launch the game through MO and it should work normally. If you didn't understand something or you need help installing a mod, you can join the Kitsune Dan Discord server, link below, and I'll gladly help you there. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check the instant gaming link in the description and I'll see you on my next video. Bye bye.